was hurting so. I'll never forget, I was coming back from Monterey. I had had a big business event and I had just started my relationship with NBC. And the doctor called me on the ride home and I was coming home from Monterey. It was storming out, it was in a winter and it was storming. I could, visibility was maybe three feet. It was storming, I got a phone call from her doctor. I had never spoken to him before. The guy called me, doctor called me, said, hey, is this Michael Diamond? I said, yes, this is Michael. He said, I wanna tell you something, your mom is dying of pancreatic cancer. There's nothing I can do for her. You know, she should be dying in a couple of months, a few months or so, and I just wanted to call you and tell you, she always talks highly of you, so I uh, just wanted you to know your mom is dying. And I started, oh man, I was in the rain, I'm it's storming. And I got offended, I was hurt. I'm like, this doctor gonna call me, not even ask me, what are you doing? Where are you at, sir? Are you in a position to talk about something serious? I have a serious conversation for you. You see, things aren't always gonna come at you the way you want them to come at you. Circumstances aren't always gonna happen the way you wanna happen. And I had to pull myself back because I was already offended that I couldn't stop my mom from dying. She was dying and I was doing everything I could to help her. And she was dying in front of me. I watched her come from 140 pounds down to like 50 pounds in my face. And it was killing me and I didn't know how to stop it. And that doctor's call was just what I needed to go home and have a double scotch. That doctor call was exactly what I needed to roll one up and smoke one. That doctor's call was just what I needed to have an attitude. That doctor's call was all I needed. And you got to remember in your worst moments, you got to remember that you got an adversary coming after you. The devil don't play fair. He's coming after you to destroy your relationships. He's coming after you to destroy everything in your life. You have to protect what you, what you honor and what you value. You have to protect your relationships. Remember, when your prospects say no, don't get offended. Don't be like, well, I knew you wasn't serious anyway. I'll call you back at another better time. Well, when you get serious, give me a call. No, they're serious right now. They just don't have enough information. Don't get offended. I mean, they just don't agree with you. That doesn't mean that they don't want to do it. They just right now don't agree with you. When Manson Jamil brought Hyperfun to me, I was like, man, I ain't got no time for Hyperfun. I ain't, what, what is Hyper? Hyper what? I'm already Hyper, man. I ain't got no time for that. Jay, I don't have time. Mansa, not now, not now. But you know, Mansa is such the professional. He is such a consummate professional that he just stayed after me. And he didn't, I mean, he didn't blow my phone up. He just kept nudging me. And that's what you do as a professional. You keep nudging your people. Don't slap them upside the head when they don't agree with you. Don't put their head up on the kitchen table and kick it like a football. No, just keep nudging them. Keep loving on them. Don't get offended. Remember, in order to reach the levels of success that you want to reach, you have to refuse to be offended. You have to refuse. I remember I shared with you once I got fired. Well, the story behind that was I was the number one top producer in a multi-billion dollar corporation and every week they gave out a $500 check and the owner would walk out on the floor and he'd say, well, there's no need to ask anybody or say anything, let's just give this check to Diamond because I know he's number one once again. And I had haters, people resented me and the manager of that organization, one morning he called me, it was a Saturday morning, I never forget, 6.30, 7 o'clock called me, said, hey man, what you doing? I'm like, it's 6.30 on a Saturday, what are you calling me for? He's like, man, did you leave some food on the kitchen in the, at the office? I'm like, no, nah, I didn't leave no food at the kitchen at the office, what are you talking about? When I get to work, he took the garbage and dumped the whole garbage on my desk. Dumped the whole garbage on my desk, put, per, put petitioners around my desk. Now, all the office at the time, and this isn't a prejudice statement, but at the time, I'm African-American, the whole office is white. So I walk in the office, and everybody's laughing, everybody's laughing, and I'm trying to figure out why they're laughing. So I walk in, and there's partitioners around my desk. I'm thinking, wow, they finally appreciate me. I do the most business in this company. They finally giving me some privacy. When I walk around the partitioners, there's garbage and flies and little maggots and everything on my desk. 
I'm like, oh my gosh, I lost it. I start kicking and throwing stuff. And they're like, Diamond, Diamond, calm down. Calm down. I'm like, calm down. It's not that serious. Yeah, it wasn't that damn funny when you was throwing this. I lost it. So I want you to know that at that moment, and of course I got fired. They fired me like a Hebrew slave. But before the dime could hit the ground, before the dime could hit the ground because I had operated in excellence, because I am a man of excellence. And I'm telling you, excellence will not be denied. That's why you know who LeBron James is, because he is a man of excellence. That's why you know who Kobe Bryant is, because he is a man of excellence. That's why you know who Steph Curry is, because he's a man of excellence. And excellence will not be denied. If you operate in the spirit of excellence, if you think the right thoughts, do the right things, think the best, believe the best, expect the best, do your best, you'll always receive the best because excellence will not be denied. I, can, I couldn't even get out in the parking lot. My phone was ringing off the hook. People were calling me saying, we heard they fired you. We'll give you $10,000 to come and work here. Please come work here. Because they knew that I would create a culture of excellence. They knew that I would create a culture of enthusiasm and getting along and people loving me. And it was the same company a year and a half later that called me back, paid me $10,000 to come back and paid Manson Jamil $10,000 and paid Robert T. $10,000, paid three of my boys $10,000 to come back because excellence will not be denied. And proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Prior proper planning prevents piss poor performance. So if your performance isn't what you need it to be, focus on proper prior planning. If your clients aren't responding to you the way you want them to, make sure that you think the best, believe the best, Speak the best, be your best, do your best, and you'll receive the best. Remember that you're unstoppable, that you are incapable of being defeated, conquered, a subdued or overcome. You are more than a conqueror, you are a champion. Remember that the best is yet to come. Keep moving forward. And let me just affirm something as we begin to wrap this down. Don't get offended. Remember, refuse to get offended. Watch your thoughts. Watch your thoughts. Watch your thoughts because they become your words. Watch your words because they become your actions. Watch your actions because they become your behavior. Watch your behavior because it becomes your character. Watch your character because it becomes your destiny. You've got to make sure. You see, you're unstoppable. And this is gonna be the best Christmas that you've ever had. And I want you to remember, as you run towards your dream, I want you to remember that whatever you believe, whatever you can imagine, Socrates said, whatever you can imagine is real. So you've got to remember, Socrates said, whatever you can imagine is real. The billion dollar servant Bill Gates said, he ran into brick wall after brick wall, had complication after complication, but he refused to get offended. He knew that if he got offended, that he might say the wrong thing to people that he needed. I have to say this in closing, that one of the most essential things as you build your multi-billion dollar corporation, you're gonna have to have the ability to deal with a multiplicity of personalities. And not everybody is gonna think like you. Not everybody's gonna think like you, speak like you, and do the things and say the things that you want them to say. So you've got to remember, you have to create an anchor. Create your anchor now like Oprah Winfrey. Create your anchor now like Mary Kay and say, I refuse to get offended. I refuse to be offended by anyone's actions. So I want you to refuse to be offended and know that if you think the best, believe the best, speak the best, be your best and do the best, you'll receive the best. You'll become unstoppable because you're operating with a spirit of excellence. I believe in you. I know you can do this. And I want you to know that when you're dealing with professionals around the world, I say this to great people in Hong Kong, Singapore, France, London, Compton, San Francisco, The Hood. Look, be your best. 
Do your best. And remember, you'll get the best. Remember, you got to speak to your mountain. Remember, it's time for you to play a bigger game. You have to practice this principle. This is your diamond. You're speaking the right words at the right time to be effective and super successful in every area of your life. In order to have powerful, long-lasting relationships, you've got to tame your tongue. You can't say everything you think. You can't act on everything you feel and believe. You got to remember, there are, it's what happened and your interpretation. And you've got to accept in life that your interpretation, like, like little David, isn't always right. So don't go running to conclusions. Don't always start jumping down people's throat or allow yourself to get offended and damage your relationships. Remember, who offended you and stopped you from receiving your miracle? 95% of people aren't successful because they got offended. 90% of relationships, business relationships fail because someone got offended. So do your best to make sure you don't get offended. Make sure that you, that you control your temper and know that I refuse to get offended. When you get an opportunity to get upset, refuse to get offended. And I want you to know that at the end of the day, you're a winner, you're a champion, you're unstoppable. And I want you to know down inside that whatever your vision is, whatever your dream is, that it's possible that you can live your dream. My name is Michael Diamond, international motivational speaker, master sales trainer, and expert in personal development. It's time for you to speak to your world, create your world, make sure you don't get refused to get offended. Speak to your world, speak the right words at the right time to be effective and super successful in every area of your life. Control your mouth. Remember Proverbs 17 and 22, a merry heart, do it good like a medicine. Keep a merry heart, choose to be happy, choose to believe the best in people. Even when circumstances and their words say it's the worst, be unambiguous about it. Unapologetically believe the best, think the best, believe the best, speak the best, do your best, be the best, and you'll receive the best. Speak to your world, create your world, and remember to shatter through your glass ceiling, reach in the lion's mouth, and take what belongs to you. It's time for us together to shoot for the galaxies and dance among the stars and know that your diamond is that you refuse to be offended because you are a champion, that you are invincible, unstoppable, too powerful to be defeated, too powerful to be overcome. You are incapable of being conquered, defeated, or subdued. You are more than a conqueror. You are a champion. Keep pushing toward your goals. Keep pushing toward your dreams. Refuse to get offended, and as you speak to your world, create your world, shatter through your glass ceiling, reach in the lion's mouth, and take what belongs to you. My name is Michael Diamond, and I'll see you in the winner's circle. <laughs>